need to catch my breath. It's kind of sad. I can't even go up my stairs. And then I'm like, good morning. Today I'm going to vlog. I haven't vlogged in a while, but I figured I have a lot of updates, like things I want to show you guys, talk to you guys about. So I figured today was a good day to vlog. I just want to kind of do a little impromptu intro. I know I'm like looking not the most attractive right now, but um, it's 8 o'clock right now. So the girls are playing downstairs. They're dressed. I'm dressed. Let's uh, do a little update. First of all, uh, this weekend, today's Monday, so this past weekend, we like totally redid our office-ish uh, in the sense of like reorganizing it and moving it around. The only thing I got new for it was a new vanity. So... If you guys have seen like my clean with me's or other videos that I've done, um, you guys remember this. Sorry, it's so bright in here. Let me move over here. Probably that'll be better. No? Um, so this uh, whole vanity desk area um, I used for my makeup and I like had it over here. But now <laughs> you can see my freaking... Anyway, so we ended up getting me a new vanity. So I ended up picking this up at Marshall's. It is so cute and then I open it and it already has dividers in here so even better it has the little area for like cords and yeah so basically I wanted a new vanity because this table is just too big like I in a, even in the sense of like when I would sit here I would have to pull everything towards me because reaching all the way to the back of the table it was just too far I'm a small human so I don't know if it was just because me or what but this is a really big desk and I had my makeup like in these drawers probably like these three drawers I had my makeup in and then these two I had random like stuff and then I had hair stuff so that's where I stored everything. Ramses had the idea of putting this desk next to this desk because this is our, you know, regular desk desk, you know, to do uh, work on or whatever, or edit videos, whatever. Uh, the printer is under there. I'm going to take the printer out from under there eventually because um, I'm going to be using it a lot more now that schooling is going to start. So it's going to stay there for now. But we ended up leaving this where it was. We ended up just putting this table over here and we switched I used to have the drawers on this side and we just like switched it around so I love how it turned out it made the room kind of look a little bit bigger for some reason and the plan is to use like these air this area for homeschooling so I'll, I have all their like materials things that I use for planning whatever here and then um, all the curriculum right there, my planner. And then in here, just fit everything, like accessories, more stuff. So, yeah, so I ended up being able to empty out these three drawers, fit everything in here. And I already had this, and I already had this. I had this, like, in a drawer, um, but I ended up just putting it on top easier access like I said now I can reach things uh, since this is smaller the only thing is that I ordered a couple of chairs for in here so those haven't come in yet uh, but it was a set of four chairs so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put one here I'm gonna get rid of this chair this chair is really uncomfortable it like you have to sit all the way back or else like these parts like go up so it's just really annoying um, so what I'm thinking also is I might put the drawers in the center. That way it'll create like two separate spaces and then I could put a chair there and a chair there. So I might do that. We did get two other legs just in case we wanted uh, to do that because obviously we can't leave it just hanging out over there on that side. So yeah, this is how the room ended up turning out. I also, Ramses, <sighs> I need to catch my breath. Ramses also um, put in a, another shelf in here because it only I only had the top and the bottom because this was obviously a closet. So the rod right here was like this was for hanging clothes. But we just used this for storage. So figured it would be a good idea to put this shelf here. And eventually I think we want to uh, put like a bookcase here possibly or, po or probably just another shelf on top for more books as we accumulate more books. But for now, 
I emptied out this basket. I used to have this huge basket for just literally all my craft stuff, anything that I used for <laughs> to make anything, ribbon and streamers, like any party supplies, uh, all of these like fake flowers. I ended up putting my backdrops that I like never use anymore, but I fit them in here and they fit perfectly in there. So we picked these containers up at Target. I already had that. And then these things have, these are all empty boxes, all three of these down here at the bottom. Those three things up there are gifts, like a, perf a perfume set and like just things that like we never use and I'm just kind of saving them for uh, to re-gift kind of thing. So yeah, so that's that. I keep all of our gift wrapping stuff up here. The tissue paper is all in here. And then I have all the bags in there. I have a little bit of like Christmas stuff back there. And then these are all flowers that I switch out in my two vases that I have downstairs. The one in the kitchen and the one in the uh, like big living room in the front. So I, this is just the best way that I've found to store them. This thing is just super heavy. So it's really annoying sometimes. Like if I kind of push it or, you know, kind of nudge it the wrong way, it, it'll fall. So yeah, that just stays right there. These are my, it's my like, my kit. I don't even, I emptied those out too. Not freelancing anymore. And, um, what else? Rams's backpack. This bag, except for this, <sighs> this bag is filled with unicorn party supplies. So, if anyone's throwing a unicorn party, I have just stuff in here that's new, that I didn't use, that I used once. And, yeah, if you guys want that, let me know. And then the camera bag. Here's our file cabinet. I ended up using, this is kind of a mess just because I didn't really organize it but these are just some palettes that I'm saving like for the kids for them to play with but I don't want to give it to them all at once so I just put them there and then I used this. this is what I used to use for like makeup and stuff and I use this for all our chargers and any cords and cables and stuff I feel like it worked out really well just because we can see everything and then we put batteries up there at this extra mirror I like this one because it has more of a zoom than the one I have on the table so in case I need that but everything else up here is like seasonal stuff. So these are just Easter eggs that I saved. And then um, this is all my Christmas stuff up there. If you guys saw the video where I like cleaned up after Christmas, you guys remember this closet. And then these are, you know, Halloween candy bowls. And then these are their Halloween and Easter baskets. So everything just worked out in here. This, was, this goes downstairs. And then that's just uh, my ring light in the bag back there for the ring light some books up there but yeah I just uh kept this basket here I put those pillows there just because we use <laughs> I use them to block the sun sometimes when it's just too bright like if I get ready in the morning it looks like this so I put them up there sometimes but I think it looked really cute just like putting them in there and yeah so like I said all my makeup fit in here so these are all like just palettes smaller palettes I use on a regular basis all of my primers, like powders, whatever. I have our glasses back here, my contacts, uh, some hair stuff, lashes, whatever. And then I did get this tabletop ring light uh, on Amazon. I also got this mirror on Amazon. Yeah, so it also lights up, but I don't really use the light. And yeah, so these are just all my brushes, some more palettes back here, and then anything that like stands up or that's in a tube, I put it in there. Anything that might like break or need to be stood up and that's just a little bit bigger, didn't fit in the drawer didn't fit in here kind of thing so I'm super happy with the way this turned out like I said once the chair comes in it'll be a little bit nicer but I'm just I've been on a kick of just well not really a kick but I just have always been the type to like downsize and just make sure I'm just you I have the things that I just need and then I also kind of reorganize these shelves these are all things I already had um got those at Marshall's we got, I don't even remember where we got that. We've had that forever. I think this was a gift. Some books I had. A candle I already had from Bath and Body Works. Um, I had these already as well. I think I got this at Marshall's too. I used to have like my lip scent stuff in here. And then I had brushes in here. I also purged a lot of brushes just because I have way too many. And then 
These are just all hair stuff. I think I'm eventually going to put those in the closet when, and then that way I can use this space for some schooling stuff. I'll probably need to put like a basket here for things because here I'm going to, I ordered a whiteboard. So I'm going to be putting the whiteboard here. I might need to move this little sign, but I did order a whiteboard for this wall. There so was a crisis downstairs, so I had to come down here, apparently. So like I was saying, we're planning to just use that area for storing all of the homeschool stuff, the curriculum, like worksheets, whatever. I'm going to be using manipulatives and stuff like that. And then uh, for more formal, like, kind of uh, teaching, once I start Jet on her kinder, curriculum in a few weeks I'm assuming that's what I'm gonna end up doing um, so that's gonna be coming in soon the chairs and then the other side is just where the computer and stuff is at Ramses is in a his doctorate program right now so he is obviously using that computer for his homework and stuff too so anyways yeah so that desk we still needed to have like our desk area too so I'm really happy with how the office turned out that's what happened with that. I am going to attempt to take the girls with me to the nail salon. Uh, they open at 9.30, so I want to try to be there like as soon as they open. So I need to fill so bad. I gave them a long, long break. And this time when I went, I got them just a little, little longer than I wanted them. So now that they're grown out, they're like even longer than that. So focus um so yeah i need a fill so tomorrow it'll be two weeks so i do need a fill so i told Ramsey, i was like hmm and i don't like look i don't like going on the weekends i don't like getting my nails done to be honest like i don't like going to the nail salon and being there for two hours and whatever right so it uh so i gotta go before i like rip these off and that's what i was telling them this morning i was like they were already long and then now they're a little bit longer just because they grew out so I need to go before I start like getting annoyed with them and like rip them off. Me and my sister both do that. I like to go on the weekend only if I can get there like as soon as they open but I didn't make time and then um, so today that's why I was like hmm maybe I should try to go. I can just give them my phone and they can just chill. I'm not going to get my feet done today just because I don't want to take too long so I'm just going to get my nails done. And then maybe I can get my feet done on Friday because Rams is off on Friday. Hey, whose birthday's on Friday? Mine! How old are you going to be? Five. Eee, I'm super duper excited. Yeah, Jet's party, Jet's birthday party's on Saturday. But her birthday birthday's on Friday. But I also picked up a few things at Marshall's this weekend um, when we went to get that desk. Let me show you guys. I picked up these vases over here, this, these two blue vases, I thought they were so cute, they're kind of like stained blue, uh, they're really heavy and like good quality, they're not super cheap or anything, I got them for $10, I was like what the heck, these are $10, really? I picked up this little uh, tray too, this was also 10 bucks, and then I put the white tray that we used to have here, over here in our bathroom it fit like really well right there and I put like the lotion the bathroom spray and like that little decor I already had in there and then I just put our little plant in the middle and then Ramses also took off the mirror that was in here he picked this one up at Home Depot and I like the color it kind of goes with everything and it fit like exactly right in the spot where the other one was at I have been struggling with like what to do with this wall. I have put a few holes in this wall with just random shit and I nothing looks right. So I decided to put a decal, like a wall decal, because obviously we can't put any shelves here. We can't put anything that kind of like sticks out of the wall too much just because it's so small in here already. So I decided to get like a decal. There's a, this really cute one that I ordered online. So that should be coming this week. I'm excited to get put that on this wall. And then I do have some film like paper that I'm going to put on these on this window uh, for the light because the sun comes in really, really harshly in this bathroom. So I am going to put it on here. It's kind of like, you know, the frosty uh, kind of sticker paper, um, but it does have like some color to it. It has like some rainbowy effects to it. 
So hopefully that will kind of pull this whole bathroom together and it won't look so, you know, awkwardly just empty. So yeah, I think this helped a lot too, like the little tray with the mirror and, and all that. I already had that there, Marshalls, Marshalls. Um, also, really big news, really, really awesome news for me. Um, as I've mentioned before, I was doing my student teaching this whole past semester and I finished and then I got my uh, bachelor's degree in elementary education. If you don't know, you have to go take a state test to get licensed in your state to be a teacher. Just because you have your bachelor's doesn't mean you're already like a teacher. It just means you have a bachelor's in that field. But yeah, I had to take my state test. I took it uh, last month in June. I took it on June 16th. And I was checking it every week. I was assuming like I was going to get the results like within like two weeks. And I wasn't getting anything. I wasn't getting anything. I was like getting so like anxious about it. And then on Friday, this past Friday... I get an email and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, and I got an email and I check and it's like, oh, uh, you're going to get your results tomorrow before 10 p.m. And I'm like, I was like, okay, whatever. So then all Saturday, I was like annoyingly checking the website like over and over and over and I wasn't getting anything. The results didn't post until like 7.30 like or 8. Like we were about to go upstairs to uh, start like bedtime and stuff with the kids. And I like thought of it, I was like, oh, let me just check it really quick before we get like busy and we go upstairs. And I checked it and it was there and I freaking passed it. So I'm so excited about that, just to have that done and passed it and just gotten it out of the way. It was a relief, it really was. Cause I was like, I do not want to go take that test again. It was a hundred questions. It had two um, like written parts to it and it was it was a lot i was i think it took me like two three hours to do that test like i don't even remember it was it was brutal so it wasn't hard it was just like draining it was just really long so yeah i was not looking forward to having to retake that test if i didn't pass it now we're just focusing on jet's party coming up this weekend we're pretty good for it and then the weekend after that we have plans to go out of town hopefully well and then you know i saw this meme and it was so funny like i was like wow that's the realest thing i've ever read before and it was like once this week is over you know everything will slow down and then just things never seem to really slow down um that's how i've definitely felt the past Oh my gosh, I don't know, six months or something. I was going to say, hopefully in August, we'll, uh, things will slow down a little bit. But Ramses is uh, starting his fall semester in August. Um, so he doesn't physically go to campus like every week. But he does have designated days uh, that he goes throughout the semester. So I think it's like a total like... 10 days or something through the whole semester it's not like too bad so yeah i'm gonna eat and then we'll probably head to get my nails done i'll check back in with you guys and stuff and show you guys my nails and everything Okay, so I'm ready. Ramses just got home. He's seeing if his grease trapper works for his barbecue. Uh, <laughs> but my dad told me he's bringing his grill anyway. He, Why? he has like a big flat one. That way it oh. doesn't get so hot. Okay. He told me so. Hmm. Okay, cool. Anyways, but no, I was just telling Ramses that I got my, my nails done. And I took the girls, like I said earlier, I was going to take them and I'd never taken them by myself before. I, when they, the girl took me, she was kind of like around the corner. So like I wasn't right in front of them, you know, and I gave them the phone uh, to watch videos. And then Jet's like, mommy, it's not working. That's because my, I didn't turn my dad on. So I was like, 
Oh shit, I was like, well, bring it over here. So she runs over there and then Sissy's all like kind of low key freaking out like behind her, you know, like that jet just like walks over there. And then I, um, and then Sissy like goes behind her and then I open it I, and I turn the dad on. And then Sissy's like, but mommy, I just want to send X to you. And then she just starts crying. And I'm like, I was like, okay, shh, be quiet. Cause you know, Sissy like cries freaking loud. Mm -hmm. Like so a real then, cry. Yes. And and, cry. So I was like, um, can they sit next to me? I was like asking her, she's like, She's like, yeah, she's like, just if somebody comes, you know, they're going to have to, like, you know, sit over there. And I was like, okay. So I, like, sat them there, and they were fine. And then a little bit later, the guy that took that spot, that was going to use that spot for someone, um, it starts moving them. Like, he's really nice. Like, I've he knows me, like, and he knows my mom because he used to be at the other salon. So, like, he had said hi to me and stuff. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to move you guys over here. So he, like, just swapped the because there was nobody in this chair. But this was his desk or whatever, so he like starts moving them, and then their faces are like <laughs> all panicked. And I was like, "Oh, it's okay." Well, yeah, at first, but it was it was kind of funny. But no, it went good. It went good. good. I'm proud of you. Look, like to go. Thanks. Look, they came out cute, huh? Is it a gel? Yeah, it's a gel. And then you put it. I got them a little shorter too. And they cause... microwave them. Yeah, they microwave. <laughs> well, I gotta get them ready really quick. I gotta just pull their hair back and stuff, and then we gotta go to their uh, gymnastics class at 3, it's 2.40. It's like literally right down the street, so it takes us like five minutes to get there. Okay, so we just got back right now, but it's so hot, like you walk out of the rec center like when we were done with their class, and just the sun just like hurts, it sucks. Anyways, but we're home, we're gonna make some food right now. I'm gonna make the girls, uh, I think some little, some tacos, I think they want some tacos. And then um, I'm going to make, uh, Grams and I are going to make fajitas for us. They don't really like fajitas that much, so we're going to make that for us. We've actually done a meal prep video um, on how we make our fajitas, so I'll link that in the little cards. And um, I'll start I'll start cutting everything up and everything right now. If you want to, when you come back down, can you I'll probably... Huh? I'm going to move the stuff, too. To what get stuff? Out of the way for when my dad comes. Oh. No, I was going to say for you to wash the dishes. I can do that, too, when I come down. Okay. So I just finished cleaning up. I don't know why I agreed to make like two separate dinners, but <sighs> everything's cleaned up. There's just some dishes. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. <sighs> but I'm going to head upstairs right now because Ramses and his dad made like a new plug-in. We're going to go check it out, see how it worked, how it came out. Let's see. Wow. It opens up the room so much, huh? Just because this, if you guys remember, this was here. And then we had like the cords and stuff on top. So what did you guys do? Oh, they. Oh, you created that little plug-in right there. Oh yeah, I see it right there. Yeah. Very nice. Now you gotta just uh, put that mirror on the wall. Where do you want it? <gasps> right there. Oh, okay. oh, are you tired? Yeah. You ready to hit the hay? In a little bit, not yet. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna end this vlog here because we're not gonna do anything else. We're pretty much just gonna. Get ready for bed in a little bit. Put the kids to bed. They're sleeping in their beds all night now. So that's exciting. Isn't it exciting? Very. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>